we want to investigate then which wavelength, which color of light is more efficient for plant's purpose. But the plant's purpose is growing and reproduce. But our purpose is how we produce, for example, basil. That's a biomass, how we increase the biomass. For flowering plant, how we quickly produce flowers. So then we need to investigate which wave spectrum, which color of the light has a more impact on either or both vegetative growth, biomass increase, or flowering time. In southern, western, the part of the, this country has a drought problem all over the so they have a limited use of water. They cannot even water their lawn. So that kind of problem will expand. So we need to prepare for that kind of a disaster. The climate change, you never know what the weather's gonna do. So when you have the, the basis and when you know what kind of light is gonna help um, your plants do the best in an area, I mean, that's huge for the market. Within five years, we could have a clear picture. We may, we hope, we can have genetically engineered plants which can do, perform well under those harsh conditions. About the climate change, how the plants respond at the molecular level, that's number one. Number two, practically, then we can really engineer, gen genetic engineering technology can go in and then make some plans to really perform well under those harsh conditions.